this test here that I have set up is called the Bayer test. Bayer test tests for the presence of double and triple bonds or in other words for unsaturated compounds. What do we do in this test? You want to take 0.5 milliliter of THF, tetrahydrofuran. Use the pasture pipette attached and take 0.5 milliliter of THF in a, a test tube. And to this, you want to add two drops of the compound that you want to test. Let us test cyclohexene first. As the name indicates, cyclohexene has a double bond. So let us see what the result will be for a compound that has a double bond in it. So two drops of cyclohexene. Mix the two and to it we are going to add alkaline solution of potassium permanganate. Now potassium permanganate is purple in color as you can see. What happens to this purple solution when you add it to a compound which is unsaturated? Potassium permanganate oxidizes the double bond when you add it to an unsaturated compound or the compound that has a double bond in, bond in it will be converted to a dihydroxy compound. Since potassium permanganate oxidizes the compound, it in itself gets reduced to manganese dioxide. And what is the color of this MnO2? it is a brown powder. So if I have an unsaturated compound here and to it I add the purple potassium permanganate solution, the purple color of potassium permanganate should disappear and we should get a brown precipitate. That would be the positive test result for a compound that is unsaturated. Let us see if that happens. So I am going to slowly add potassium permanganate one drop at a time. Add a drop. Mix the solution and see what happened. The solution is brown in color and you can see the brown precipitate settling at the bottom. Let us compare the two. Potassium permanganate reagent here and this is the test, test tube or the test tube in which I had the unsaturated compound that I tested. We can clearly see that the purple color disappeared which indicates that my test compound that's in this test tube indeed was unsaturated. Now let us do a test on a compound that is not unsaturated and see how that compares to this. Just like before you are going to take 0.5 ml of THF in a test tube, add two drops of the test compound. I am going to test cyclohexane as the name indicates. There is no double bond or there are no triple bonds in this compound. We all know that if the name ends in A and E, it is a saturated compound or an alkane. 
So two drops of that compound. Mix the two. And add potassium permanganate dropwise. Mix it. What happened? Let us go back to our test tube which just had potassium permanganate. You don't see any difference in color. Which means potassium permanganate added to the cyclohexane in THF did not get used up. There was no reaction. The compound here then should be a saturated compound. Let us compare the test tubes with positive test result and a negative test result. Positive test result wherein I had an unsaturated compound which reacted with potassium permanganate reducing potassium permanganate to the brown MnO2 precipitate that you can see in the test tube. Negative test result which did not react with potassium permanganate so potassium permanganate retained its color. This is how Bayer test for unsaturation is done.